everyone. No intro today, no exercise, no videos, no how-tos, no new year, new me this. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but this is more just of, of, of my thoughts and words. Uh, I don't even have my tripod up. It's sitting on my couch, and I just thought I'd just run some uh, words of encouragement by you. Um, I noticed, like, within the first of the new year, we all have good intentions of resolving things or trying to be better at something or, or something, whatever it is we're trying to get into. We have great intentions, and the enthusiasm there is there, and, and uh, the mentality, the, the positive uh, mentality, and the motivation is there but after some time it starts to go and really that that'll wear off and, and I've seen it a lot um, and it doesn't just have to do with weight loss it could be with anything in your life um, but what happens is we just start to get comfortable we start um, allowing excuses to filter in of why we're not continuing this or continuing on our path um, and, and, and it's real easy it's real easy to get comfortable um, and I really think um, the, the main reason we start, we start to allow ourselves to get comfortable or once we hit a roadblock or an obstacle, we just kind of eh, back off and we'll just stay right where we're at or we'll, we'll actually regress to where we once were. Um, and I think, honestly, my personal opinion, I really think the biggest reason is because of our fears. We allow our, allow our fears to hold us back. And this could go with anything. It could go with a dead-end job. It can go with a relationship. It can go with weight loss. It could go with um, anything that you're trying to do um, for personal growth. Um, and it's those fears that we feed off of. It's those fears that start, um, um, it scares us enough to stay right where we want to stay. So we don't want to, we get comfortable in this, okay, I don't want to move out there because that's too scary. Um, think about weight loss, for instance. Um, you start off and you, okay, this is scary, I don't think I'm going to do this. Even though you're miserable as hell and you don't like the way you look and you don't like the way you feel, you'll still stay there because you don't want to jump out of that, uh, you don't want to take that first step because it is scary. And, and, and it's the unknown, it's it's how you're going to feel and it's just, you're worried about what people are going to think of you. And, and, and again, this can go in all areas of your life, but once you allow those fears to take a back seat and, and, and you just have a little bit of faith in yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to take that first step, whatever it is, and I'm just going to just do it. Take a leap of faith because honestly, it's like, oh, I'm like, feel my heart pound on my chest right now. Um, but I've just seen it so many times and, and I've actually experienced it with myself a couple years ago. I mean, I went through a divorce and, and you know, anybody who's been through that know that... <laughs> That's not easy, um, and you can really get down. You can really allow yourself to um, get to a state that you just don't think you're going to climb out of, and you know that that's tough. And, and it's real easy to allow those negative thoughts to come in and, and consume you, and, and and pretty soon that's you start to become it. Um, and I got to a place that I'm like, you know, I, these fears are the only thing that's holding me back. How am I going to make this? How am I going to support myself and two children? How am I going to run a business? I got people counting on me. I've got to be up and lively, motivating. And, and, you know, that's tough. I mean, all these things I allowed to filter in. And pretty soon it just it, it dimmed my light. Like, I, I just didn't know if I was able to. I didn't know what I was capable of doing. I didn't think, I, I can't do this. I kept telling myself, I can't do it. And it took so much, um, who it took so much of, um, uh, of, of looking at myself and saying, you know what? I don't like where I'm at. I don't like who I'm becoming. I don't like this. I know there is more to life than this. I know that I want a zest for life. Like I've never had before. I want this and I want that. And you know what? That's what it took. It took that, that, first step of becoming aware that you look yourself in the mirror and maybe you don't like what you see, you don't like who you're becoming and you, you don't like your attitude, you don't like any of that. It's that awareness that once you decide, ah, I see it, here it is, now what am I going to do with it? What am I going to do with whatever it is that I'm trying to, to grow and, and do better? And for me, it was looking myself in the mirror. I'm like, I want more. I finally quit playing victim. I finally quit blaming others or, or whatever. I just finally took accountability for myself. And I thought, you know what? I don't care what this person does or where this, my, where this part of my business goes or whatever. I'm just going to worry about me. I'm going to focus on my own personal growth. And I know that I want more out of life, so I'm going to go get it. And once I became aware of that, I started taking the steps. I started telling myself. Whether I believed it or not at the moment, I told myself it's going to get better and I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to have faith that it's going to happen. And I started, started to surround myself 
with positive people and 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 really family and friends and everything and and that is key that is when you surround yourself with positive people um, that really do want to help your personal growth stick with those people you find them and you stick with them because um, it, <laughs> that's huge I can't I can't begin to tell you that um, but regardless, whatever it is in your life that you're trying to achieve or, or you're, you've been thinking about a lot lately and it's holding you back or maybe you've taken those first couple steps and you got stuck because that happens a lot too, just keep going. Just put one foot in front of the other and, and you'll find that it's just things start opening up, doors start opening up. Um, your mentality, if you change that mentality of, of, of I can't do it or it's too hard or if you change that and you say I will do it and I'm going to do it because I have it in me to do and I'm going to show myself that I can. It's all just, you got to believe, you got to believe that you can do it. So if you're stuck at a dead end job or if you have a relationship issues or if, if, if your life is not where you want it to be, go out and make it happen. Go out and create what you want to see in your life and get that zest for life because we're walking around like freaking zombies around here we're walking around like we have no 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 reason to live and if you want that in every area of your life then go get it make it happen and start taking the steps and if you don't know how surround yourself and, and, and meditate and, and pray about it surround yourself with people that you see you like how someone is you know if you like someone's mentality their attitude or you can just see they're positive talk to them ask them like what do I got to do help me out you know whatever it is but you got to believe within yourself and you got to want it and not only do you have to want it you got to start taking steps to make it happen and uh, yeah <laughs> how about that <laughs> I don't know where that came from but anyway um, uh, gosh yeah I can go on and on but anyway I just wanted to uh, throw some words of encouragement out there don't give up keep going find your zest for life find what it is that you want to see and live your life how you want it don't you worry about what anyone else says don't you worry about what else thinks this is you this is about you and your personal journey and your growth you want it make it happen have a great day everyone we'll see you around